fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're at the Elder Mill Covered Bridge in Georgia, right outside Athens, Georgia. This cute, cute bridge, and I had to make a video when I was here because it was too pretty not to make something for you. And today we're going to talk about, or actually some of the sustainable competitive advantages that you see every day. And I know we have another video that talks about what are sustainable competitive advantages, how do companies come up with them, what are some of the more common ones out there, you know, like the product excellence, the location excellence, all those kind of things. We talk about that. But I want you to know about some that you might see every day in your very life. I mean, if you're watching this video, you might have Googled it, right? And so that's one of the kind of sustainable competitive advantages we see. And that is superior data management. You know how to take that information. You know how to use it better than everybody else. There's a reason why you say Google it and not Yahoo it because Google just does a better job. They've been a sustainable competitive advantage over all their other search engine competition than anyone else. And so they do that. And that kind of goes along with another sustainable competitive advantage you might see, and that is strong research and development. If you're a company like Apple, like Google, that's always developing new cool things, that's going to give you an advantage over your competition that's always a step behind. So think about it. That new iPhone, why do people line up outside to get the newest one? Because they know it's going to be newer, better, faster, stronger, all those kind of things. And that does give them an advantage. Of course, though, not everything is tech based. Another thing you might think about is speed or timing in terms of delivery. I mean, think about it when you're hungry and you need to guarantee a pizza there in a quick time you know which delivery pace delivers the fastest, right? And so you're like, how do they consistently deliver faster than all the other competition? They found a way in order to do that, okay? So you might look at that. Then of course, another sustainable competitive advantage that we use a lot, we try to build up our brand popularity. I mean, that's the thing is, people are a Coke person or a Pepsi person kind of stuff. And once you have that advantage that people lock into your brand, hey, that's one thing you could use to your advantage. It's hard to overcome. As much as I want you to get Walter's World Cola, man, we're never gonna quite catch up to Coke because they have that advantage over us. Now, another thing you might look at in terms of production for companies is sometimes if they have the ability to make high volume production, like they can make a lot of something, they could have a better advantage over a new startup that can only make a few of a certain product. Because think about it, if you could only make 10 cars, you can only sell so many cars. But if you can make 10,000 cars, you do have an advantage over those smaller competitors. Now, another sustainable competitive advantage that I'm sure you use your daily life is what we call a low pricing competitive advantage. This would be what Aldi and Walmart are doing. They're doing everything they can to lower prices. So you notice when you go to Walmart, they're not wearing uniforms. They usually have a vest on or something like that so they can save money because a uniform that costs money. A vest is just a vest and have people wear their own clothes to work, that can make a big difference. If you go to Aldi, notice there's not a lot of really cool signage and stuff like that. It's kind of like, here's a pallet of stuff. We have it on a pallet and not on a fancy shelf because we're saving you money. And so they build up these sustainable competitive advantages by figuring out how to have a cheaper supply chain, how to cut costs and things like that. Now, another thing you might look at is sometimes it deals with what you actually have or, or the relationships you have. So, for example, if you have the, I don't know, monopoly for something, right? Like, for example, a lot of the utilities in towns are run by a monopoly, whether it's water or power or something like that. So that could give you a sustainable competitive advantage because you have an agreement with the city government that you will sell water to them for you know 10 years or you might sell power to a whole state for 10 years or something like that. And so that does give you a sustainable competitive advantage because you've created a barrier to entry. Nobody else can come in. Now, another sustainable competitive advantage is superior customer service. And the thing is, with superior customer service, it doesn't happen overnight. I know a lot of companies say, we're gonna have the best service possible, but they don't necessarily always deliver on that. And so we have to think about it in terms of what do we need to do to sustain our competitive advantage in our services? So does that mean we gotta train our personnel? Yes, we gotta train our personnel. We might use technology to help deliver the same consistency again and again to get that same kind of service. And so you're doing those things. And I'm sure you have restaurants or stores you love their customer service for. Well, why don't you put in the comments section down below to give them a shout out. Hey, thank you for being good service and consistently doing that. So you see companies do develop that sustainable competitive advantage in terms of their service levels. 
Now, another thing you might look into is a sustainable competitive advantage might be going into developing exclusive supply chains or exclusive relationships with suppliers or retailers or distribution. So that's one of the things, like if you look at a company like Nike, right, they go in to get the exclusive rights to make you know, the jerseys for the Brazil soccer team, right? Or or Adidas will go for the German soccer team or, or Nike will go for the women's US team, right? The best of the best. We wanna be associated with that. We're gonna sign a deal with them and we're gonna be exclusive distributors of women's US soccer team jerseys. And that's the thing is, if you can make those relationships, that's gonna give you an advantage. Now, another thing you might look into is if you have an industry where having all of the kind of manufacturing capabilities or all the stuff that goes with it is extremely expensive, actually having the operational equipment, having that capital already in your company can give you a sustainable competitive advantage because we already have the things to make this deal. We already have the factories to make the cars and that makes it almost impossible for competitors to come in unless something crazy happens. Because you think about it, what's all the infrastructure that a university needs? We need the staff, we need the faculty, we need the reputation, we need the courseworks, we need all these things. We need the buildings, the classrooms and stuff like that. And so universities really held out competition for a long time until there was a game changer, which is online education. And now you see a lot more YouTube videos teaching you stuff. You see online universities and things like that. But in general, you think about it, having all of the infrastructure already there does give you an advantage over anyone else that wants to come in. And the last one I want to talk about, and there are a lot more, believe me, if you see other sustainable competitive advantages from companies you work with or you shop with or you buy from, put in the comment section below. But honestly, if you want to have one that's a really good sustainable competitive advantage that will keep you going, that is your corporate reputation. This is why companies work so hard to build up their reputation and they have a lot of public relations to keep it up there. Because if you're known as the best university around, that goes a long way. Because think about it, that means the alumni from before, they want to donate and give back to keep up that prestige. The students that are going to school there, it makes it easier for them to get jobs. For the companies that are hiring, they're like, hey, we want to go to that university that has such good students because that great reputation you have these things out there. So you build up the reputation and it can give you a sustainable competitive advantage. I mean, think about it. If you have Harvard on your you know, resume, it's gonna get your foot in the door because the reputation, oh, Harvard, you must be pretty smart, right? And so you have that. So you kind of think about those things. But anyway, I just want to put together this little video because this is too pretty not to film at. Uh, so I hope this does help you know some of the sustainable competitive advantages you might see out there in the world. And there are a lot more out there, like I said. So put in the comment section below. But I just wanted to help out because I know I talked about the big four, but there are other ones out there. And bye from here in beautiful Georgia.